So I don't really know how much there is to see in this week's video. I imported all the files um, in my editing app yesterday night and there's like an hour and a half of footage. So it's maybe not as bad as I think it is because I did do a bunch of drawing on Tuesday. Um, but I feel like I did nothing but studying this week. So sorry if it's a bit of a, of a boring one. Um, I'll try to like not cut up as much of the drawing process so you can kind of enjoy that a bit more in real time. Uh, I'll be quite brief, but I wanted to show you a little something. Obviously, this is not my usual book. Um, or well, it was up until like two or three weeks ago. Uh, this is the second book in my uh, Traveler's Notebook Weekly Plus Memo insert. So if you follow the, vid the videos, you'll know that I switched over to a Hobonichi Weeks uh, for like my weekly planning about like three weeks ago now, something like that. Uh, just before I was meant to move into the July to December book. And the the one thing that I didn't really like about that, like the Hobonichi, the Hobonichi Weeks is working so well for me. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I think um, I'm very excited to see the new like cover options and stuff that are coming out next month, I think. Um, and then I think the pre-order or like the orders uh, start in September. Uh, I'm really excited to see what the covers are going to look like and pick my weeks for the new year. But... I didn't like the fact that I was just gonna waste this book. Like it, it, it was kind of one of the things that was holding me back from from switching over, um, and I'm glad I did in the end. But then I was chatting to some people online that also use similar systems in like various different books, but um, do kind of a similar journaling style to what I do, um, and a lot of people seem to do some sort of memory keeping in the in their like weekly spreads as well so they'll have maybe um i'll show you in here just because it's a more like actual planner setup um they'll have it split up in columns but instead of having like i don't know i have my university column here maybe they'll have like a priority task list for the day and then they'll do a bit of journaling on this side just a small bit of journal journaling about what's going on in the day um and i like that and one thing that i really liked that i was doing in the first half of this was for a while I'll get it out uh, for a while I was like adding pictures in and small entries about how my week was going and I really like that um, I think like here I went to France and stuff like that it's a really nice way to then like flip back through the book and kind of remember what was going on uh, and I was tagging them with the same sticker dots that I use in my commonplace um, and then I stopped doing that because it's always a bit it's always a bit difficult like I never really have a lot of space left in my spreads and it's always awkward to just print out a really small picture like it really feels like I'm just trying to fill a gap and they never really fit too well and the colors then don't match and it, I don't know I don't love it um, like it, it was more stressful than it was worth it I felt like so I stopped doing that um, but now that I have this extra book I thought it would be fun to start using it again just for that purpose so I can keep my planning in here and then like every couple of days I can go and backfill this um obviously this is last week so I just backfilled it a couple of nights ago and then this morning I did this week um and I think my idea for now is that uh, every couple of days or like every night I'll fill in just a very small it's like six lines um a very tiny journal entry about what was going on throughout my day and then 
during the weekend when I'm at home at my parents and I have a printer and I maybe have a little bit more time, I can print out a couple of pictures from the week to stick on this side um, without having to worry, uh, without having to worry about fitting it around other things. Uh, I plan to keep the stickers to a minimum. I just put a couple because I, I'm just, I'm, st I'm trying to figure out what to do. Um, I put a bigger one here because that's like. An oily stain, I, I think I maybe had an oil pastel on my desk or something that left um, like an oil mark and then I put my notebook on top of that and so it was stained on this side um, more than the other so I covered it up with a bigger sticker but the idea is that I can just kind of print pictures from the week a bit more freely and then if I have any awkward gaps I can kind of fill them in with a bit of like a reflection on how the week went um, at the weekend once the week is over. Uh, and I was thinking this morning actually because yesterday night I found um, this old Faber-Castell pit pen in the color Sanguine that I really 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 like. It's the one that I used to do um, a lot of my sketchbook drawings last summer that then got turned into a couple of zines. Um, I think majority of, uh, of one of the zines was made with this and then the other one was mostly black. Um, but I really really like this and it's a really comfortable pen to write with as well, like the ink flows really nice. Uh, so I might repatch this um, and also I was looking around for like other colored um, fine liners I guess uh, that I might like to use. This is like a really light beige, um, light orange type of color and then this is another favorite of mine is like a very deep green uh, that I also really love and I was thinking um, it might be fun to just write in black as normal on this side and then when I fill in the gaps on this side to fill it in color uh, just to make it a bit more interesting and not like a solid block of text to kind of separate the things a bit more uh, or like to highlight things on this side if something particularly cool happens I don't know um, I feel like I feel like that would be cool so I'll show you I'll try to remember to film a couple of clips over the weekend while um, like once I fill these in obviously I want to print some pictures from last week's concert to put here um, I went out for lunch a couple of times with my friends last week and this week so I might print some pictures out from that as well um, I have another cute picture of me just like working one night that I took last week that I want to print as well so I'll try to kind of collage them here but I'll be it's kind of a, a space to be a bit more free and like not that I'm not in the other books, but it's like I need the structure in this case to be able to plan and fit in everything that I need for the week. Um, and if I don't want to be like having to keep in mind that I have to like then leave a space here to print a picture out every week because then like that takes away from the functionality of the book. Um, so I just wanted to share that. Um, hopefully, I, I feel like it's going to be a nice thing to then like float back through. Um, hopefully it works, hopefully I can like keep up with it. I might add that to my tracker here just like as a you know a thing that I can tick off every day because I remember to check in with this book every day just because I have my to-do list on here so I always have this open on my desk anyways and I'm kind of um, going in and out of it to check things off the list uh, every couple of hours. Um, but this, since I'm not so used to it and I don't want to like start keeping it in my cover, I just want to keep it like in a drawer. Um, I'll bring it back home for the weekend but it's not, like if I'm just going out to uni I don't need to have this with me. So I might add that as one of like my weekly routines or like weekly tasks I suppose. So I can like look at it and remember to do it. Um, at least until like the habit forms I suppose. I also have a really cute spread in the weeks this week. I, I have to admit I'm very happy with the stickers. Um, I wanted to go for yellow. Uh, it's I don't know why. I uh, wanted to go for something very summery. Um, the stickers are all from the same shop all the time and then these other two are from Pet Petit Gloom. I still can't pronounce pronounce this shop's name so as always it will be linked below. Um, and I'm, I've, I'm actually going to probably place another order from them um, or from her maybe next week because I'm running a bit low on stickers. Um, it's like I've used up all of the ones that I really really like and I'm left with all the other ones that are also cute but a bit difficult to like always pair together so I want to order some new ones. Um, so there's that and then give you a little update in the common place as well. There's not much going on this week to be honest. Um, I did a little bit of journaling about the concert. So this was my revision tracker for last week. I think I showed you already. Um, this was 
So this was before the concert and then I updated it after the concert. Um, I was talk talking about like merch. There's a lot of bands that I like that are releasing like merch and albums and a lot of stuff at the minute. Um, and I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna go broke, broke because I want all of it. Um, I did end up getting the Nothing But Thieves um, t-shirt at the concert, which was, I think it's like this one, but in black. Um, and it was really, really cool. I'm also gonna get the Youngblood one probably. Um, and then I had another one that I ordered a couple of weeks ago arrive a couple of days ago, but it's at my parents, so I'll show you when, when I get there. Um, so I was just journaling about that so I don't forget. Um, and then I had some post-concert thoughts. It was really, really good. Everyone was so good live. Like, I was very excited to see Nothing But Thieves. They were incredible. Uh, the Black Keys were also really good. Like, the energy, insane. And then Liam mostly did Oasis songs, um, as I was expecting. I've been to his concert before, and I think back then it was like, 2019 and the the latest album had just come out so I think he did a few more of his songs back then um, This in this case he did mostly Oasis songs and everyone was screaming on top of their legs and it was so good like the vibes were immaculate um, So I was talking about that basically um, Here I made a Dutch door it's empty for now because I was journaling about this painting that I started last week that I think I'm gonna do a little bit of work on um, once I finish recording this, but I don't have a lot of time because I have to go get the train to go home. Um, and I did, I hope it shows up all right. Um, I did a few color tests because I'm not really sure where I'm going with the piece, like what colors I want to use, where I want the contrast to be, like where I want the dark areas to be, where I want, where I want it to be, midtones, where I want it to be light areas, um, and all of that. So I did a couple of tests that I'm going to print out, um, and I'll stick over here. Um, and I find that, like, this kind of format of pictures is always a bit awkward, um, and it looks really good on a Dutch door, so that's just what I did. Um, and then I'll probably add some more thoughts on the back as well, but I'll do that tonight or tomorrow. Um, a little just like personal notes reflection um stuck down a poem and then a tumble post that i liked so this was like more of a brain dump kind of entry um so not a lot going on to be honest uh, but generally like just not a lot going on in general <laughs> this week um i did do a couple of sketches that i'm really happy with on tuesday that i filmed like the drawing process of um i did this i think last week and I really, really, really liked it. Last week or the week before, I can't remember. Um, I think this is really cool. And then I wanted to do some more. So I did this portrait. I really like this portrait. It's a bit messy up here, but I don't I don't mind it. Um, I find sometimes with ballpoint pen, with ballpoint pen, it's a bit hard to get really dark tones. Um, I feel like it's all a bit highlights and midtones in this case. Um, I think this is more balanced, but with portraits as well, it's something that is, um, I don't know, I've always found quite hard, but I do like the pose. I do like the idea that I had with the flowers and stuff, and I might paint this. Um, maybe I'll do like some color tests over the weekend for that as well, so I can sketch in next week. And then <laughs> I did another portrait that wasn't going well, like it just wasn't working. And so I thought it's not working anyways, I might as well try something fun with it. And so I got um, like a black... Um, just a black marker, the one that I used to like write the addresses on my shop orders um, and blacked out a bunch of stuff. I really like this stuff, like I like the outline and the contour and these details. I also really like what I did with the circles. Um, I tried using oil pastels on top of that. I think they got absorbed a bit weird so they turned grey. It's not bad, but it's not what I was going for necessarily. I think it would have worked a bit better if I had like a white um, gel pen or something like that, um, which I don't think I have. I used to have black ink. I don't know where that went. Um, so yeah, but I, I like the mix of ballpoint pen and black marker, so I might do some more experiments with that. Um, I don't know if I'll do that in paintings because that feels like a bit much, like it's a bit risky, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Um, so that's that. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on this painting. I also don't really know where I'm going with this um, because I'm afraid of overworking it essentially. I There's a lot of texture to it which I really like but I'm afraid that if I do anything else with it it will be too much so I might just um, 
add a little bit of a darker color to the eyes because it's just pencil now. I think it'd look better if I had some of this like deep, uh, I think it's a, mis a mix of like black wash and uh, paint gray watercolor uh, to the eyes so it's not like a kind of washed down gray and it fits in a bit better with everything else and maybe I'll draw the eyes over again because they kind of got lost as well. Um, but overall I think I'm not going to do too much more with this because uh, it will get too much otherwise. Um, and this, I like the softness. I really, really like the softness of it and I think I want to try to keep it as much as possible. But also, you need some kind of contrast within a piece for it to be able to work. So, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I definitely want more red in like the fingertips. That's something that I, it's like aesthetically something that I really like to have like really, really red fingers um, or like knuckles or like really red cheeks, that kind of stuff. I'll add more texture to the background. Um, I did these flower drawings that I really like, like the line art, the line art type thing. So I don't know if maybe I'll go over that with watercolor or with something else because they don't necessarily show up too much in pencil. Um, especially over here where it's a bit bit messier um, and also I'm still really debating over what color I want the actual flowers like the big ones that they're holding to be um, because I have no idea I want some green somewhere to balance it out because I used a very warm gray and it's a very warm skin tone like very or orangey almost um, which I really like that was my goal for the piece like I wanted to go for, uh, I've, I've been going for very cool color schemes that I love, like indigo has been very prevalent in these pieces and, and that's a color that I really like. Um, when I first started painting um, I was using watercolor and the two people that I kind of learned how to use watercolor from are Kellogg's Loops and Tillith and they use a lot of indigo in their pieces and so that was a color that I was using a lot at the start um, and I still really like it. But this warm grey, I really love this warm grey and the combo with the skin tone and the white, I feel like it just works really well and I'm, I'm I'm kind of afraid to ruin it but also like this is very clearly just an underpainting like it can't stay like this so I'll try to work on it try to try to figure something out hopefully it goes well um, I also need to fix this because the gray kind of bled into the face a little bit um, but it's fine we can work on that um, I did say I was gonna be brief and that I've been talking for 16 minutes so sorry about that um, at least I guess the video is going to be a bit longer now. Um, I hope that you're having a good week. Um, I hope you're enjoying the video nonetheless, even though it, it was a bit of a boring week. 